Hi, this is uh, Pete Coley again, southernboysflies at gmail.com. Uh, what I have here is a uh, fly that uh, I kind of experimented with quite a few years ago and uh, found out that it was one of the most deadliest uh, shad flies uh, that I've ever used. Uh, up in uh, Rhode Island, especially uh, on the flats uh, towards uh, July and August, uh, usually in the afternoon on uh, five and six feet of water uh, and the, where the boat traffic is you'd get these schools of uh, hickory shad in there. Of course they call them the poor man's tarpon because they they jump and they're, they're great little fighters. Uh, they weigh anywhere from a pound and a half to two and a half, three pounds, big ones. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun on fly ride. Uh, and I was experimenting with uh, these the flies and I came up with a uh, um, fingernail, uh, false fingernail fly, uh, and uh, I call the fly the nail biter uh, because it's such a, uh, such a great bite. As you can see, this is finished, uh, and I'll start from the beginning, and I'll show you how to tie it. Very easy to tie. Uh, you're going to have all the purists say it's not a fly. Well, it probably isn't a fly, but it catches fish. Uh, we could also make the argument that a clouser's not a fly because of dumbbell eyes, and a deceiver's not a fly if you put plastic eyes on it. Da 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 da. If you can throw it with a fly rod, I call it a fly. So anyway, I'm going to show you very simply, very quickly, how to tie this uh, fly that I call nail biter. Number one is uh, the finger false fingernail you see right here is. Uh, you go to Dollar Tree, you can get them any kind of color you want. These happen to be silver, and they come in four different sizes in a packet. Uh, you get uh, 20 of them for a dollar, okay? So I'm going to be tying them on my usual um, 3407 Mustad hook. This is a size 4. Very, it's a very good size uh, for the shad. You don't want to get too big on them. Uh, and the shad... Uh, or like clockwork, which all animals are repetitious anyway, but you know, come an hour and a half or an hour before uh, dusk or sundown, they'd start pounding the water. Uh, and it's funny because um, I was out there one night with one of our friends, my friends down there, and we we're only in six feet of water, and I was using a, uh, a fast sinking line, and he was using a floating line, and I literally uh, caught 25. Uh, shad and he didn't catch one uh, because he was using a floating line I was using a sinking and they were eating everything off the bottom I finally convinced him to try my rod or put a sinking line on he didn't have his sinking line with him so he tried my rod and in the first cast he threw he caught a fish so it, it, it does show you the sometimes uh, match the hatch and whatever it, it, it does work so anyway I've got my thread started uh, on that what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use this flashy material, it's called Mega Mushy, it came out uh, 10 or 15 years ago, a guy came out with this stuff, it didn't last on the market very long, but you can really uh, make some really flashy and shiny flies with it, um, very glittery, very wiry, very tough, because you start catching a lot of shad, uh, you will rip up some uh, stuff with a shad. I actually had uh, one of my nail biter flies on one night and I had uh, painted it red, red glitter. And by the end of the night, uh, it was uh, plastic. There was no glitter at all left on it. So they will chew it up and they will bite it. As you can see, like I've said before in my other videos, I use I like to use a lot of glue, okay. And basically, we started out with that, okay. I'm gonna put some um, chenille, some kind of hot pink, you might want to say. Uh, this will be on the bottom, and this will see it. I'll whip finish this. I'm just gonna use that as a base, and then I'm gonna put glitter on top of that. You can just leave this like this and put your fingernail on top of that or I'll show you something I try 
It's just to make it uh, okay. That's that. As you can see, it's nothing fancy so far. Then I've got this stuff. I bought this stuff uh, at a yard sale. Uh, something like an Ecstaz. I don't know what you would want to call it, but it's um, as you can see. I'll show you. Very stringy, very glittery. I'm going to wrap that around. Looks like a mess. Um, I wanted to be able to, the pink to be able to shine through to give it a contrast. I'll pull that back. And you get a whip finish. Tighten it up real tight, snip it off, and that's what you have that so far. What we have here is a false fingernail, um, shiny on top. What we're going to do is we're going to lay it right on top. I'm going to trim some of the front ones away. You can trim more after. And here's what how I do that. I got my trusty little glue gun here. I'm going to put a nice solid bead of glue across the top. I take my false fingernail and I press it down right on top of that. I trim the front a little bit. And basically that's what you have. You can see it. That is not going anywhere. That is one solid little fly. Like I, like I said before, I call it call it my nail biter. But this fly here on shad will absolutely tear them up. They cannot resist this fly. And, and the thing about it is, on the fly now, it, it is is very light and stuff like that. Uh, if you find out they're going to fish deep, uh, wrap some lead on there. You don't want to put dumbbell eyes or nothing, but wrap some lead. And uh, usually this here, what I do, I usually use an intermediate line. And as soon as it hits the water, I'm stripping it almost as fast as I can. And, um, of course, if you've fished with shad before, you know how much fun they are. Now that I live down here in North Carolina... In um, March and April, they have a huge hickory. They do have American shad also, but the hickory is real big. Shad run on the Roanoke River, at the rapids. And uh, last year, I went down there with a buddy of mine here. And uh, actually, we started out the first two hours we were there on the water, on the river. Uh, we only caught two shad, and it was looking kind of gloomy. Anyway, we ended up catching... I, I don't know, we, I lost count, but it was somewhere around 80 to 85, and I can basically tell you that um, I'm not lying there because I, I really believe it's probably more, but between what he did, and uh, he had the same thing. I was fishing a sinking line, and he was fishing a floating, and uh, I was catching probably three to his one, but as soon as he went to a sinking, he started catching every other cast like I was. So there again, that's called my nail biter fly. It's great for hickory shad. Uh, it's also American shad. Uh, I really haven't tried it for other things, but I imagine uh, it'll catch other things. But uh, because it's shiny and because of where I'm using it, uh, that's the way it goes. Easy, easy tie. Uh, I know people are going to say it's not a fly. That's okay. Uh, if it catches fishes, I'm going to use it if I can throw it with my fly rod. Uh, so that's, again, uh, Southern Boys. Uh, flies at gmail.com give me a, a send me a line on the e uh, email and uh, if you've got any flies you want to tie uh, I'm ret retired now I'm tying flies as a hobby not as a business I don't tie a lot 
Uh, but if you got any special flies that you might want me to try to duplicate or something like that, um, just give me a line or send me the fly or send me a picture and we can talk about it and I can tell you what I can do for you. All right. Again, this is Pete Colling, uh, southernboysflies at gmail.com. Uh, you have a nice day now. Goodbye.